Warmest greetings to your sisters and brothers, and welcome to the Pan-African People's Phone. The Pan-African People's Phone is a space for themed interactive discussions conducted over the airwaves and in cyberspace. The themes are focused around issues affecting African people both locally and globally. The Pan-African People's Phone regularly features guests from revolutionary Pan-Africanist organizations. From time to time, others, including non-African guests, will be invited to contribute. The, act the activities of all guests will be examined on the basis of their relevance to African people, both locally and worldwide. Interviews and presentations with guests will set the scene for a more general discussion in the second half of the program, where listeners will be invited to phone in, ask questions, and contribute. Spread the word. Please tell all of your family, friends, fellow organization members, colleagues, associates, and other networks about the show. Ring and text your friends right now. Let them know that the program is happening. Encourage them to listen every Sunday from 10 p.m. until 12 midnight. I want to wish a warm greetings to everybody that listens to uh, Galaxy Radio on the uh, terrestrial broadcast 99.5 FM and also uh, on the, the internet uh, broadcast on www.afuistiashan.com and also www.myspace uh, forward slash galaxy. Nine nine five. I want to wish a warm good evening to the station's engineers, the station's management, and of course my fellow presenters here on Galaxy. Beginning with Ras Ezekiel, who took us back and um, played some long time radio. I heard some whalers going way back into the 60s um, this evening. Love and respect to you, my brother. Uh, some vintage stuff was coming out this evening. But before that, we had Queen Genius, who delighted us with um, some Lover's Rock this evening. And we thank her. And prior to that, our brother Roy T and our sister Naya, who uh, gave us some, uh, some mixtures of roots and culture and Lover's Rock uh, interdispersed uh, with some sister-brother uh, discussion. <laughs> now, let me give out the number for uh, anybody who wants to uh, interact in the program later when we open up the line. The number for interaction in this evening's program is 07 Well, let me repeat that number. Uh, as usual, I ask uh, sisters and brothers to write that number down, to record that number by whatever uh, means is, uh, is uh, most uh, appropriate uh, for them. Uh, and of course, programming it into your phone uh, is one of the methods that might make it easier for you to participate in the program. But let me give out the number again. The number for interaction in this evening's program is 07 908 117 619. Uh, and in this evening's uh, program, we are going to look at the attempted assassination um, by British state police of um, uh, some of our sons. Now, somebody's trying to get through, so let, let, uh, let, let's just uh, double check here. Uh, warmest greetings to your sister or brother. Are you giving us some technical assistance? Warmest greetings to your sister or brother. Are you giving us some okay, technical assistance? sorry, I didn't realize. Yeah, it's a sister and Sonia from Mother High. I just tuned in, and that last track, yeah, I would like to know the name of it. Um, but my, my sister, sorry, we're in the introductions uh, of the program. If you can ring after the program's finished, I'd be happy to uh, help you if I can with that inquiry. Yep, I will. Thank you very much, my sister. Thank you for ringing in okay. uh, and for confirming that the system is working correctly. <clears throat> Love and respect to the sister. We thank her as we continue with the introductions uh, to uh, this evening's uh, program. Um, uh, we're joined in the discussion this evening by two sisters who are going to help us, and uh, I say two sisters, two mothers uh, who are going to help us, uh, because their sons were assassination uh, victims. They are survivors of the attempted assassination uh, by the state uh, police force. Uh, I wonder, my sister, if you'd introduce yourself uh, to the listeners here at Galaxy. Greetings, brothers and sisters. Greetings, brother Amawali, management and crew. 
Terra Art Galaxy Radio. Uh, this is DJ Prophetess, Sister Prophetess, sharing with uh, brothers and sisters north, south, east, and west an experience that I would never have imagined going through as a woman, a mother, as a peace campaigner in my community. I would never have imagined being a personal witness, well, experience of what it is like to be in the firing line. One always fight for the causes, and I don't want to deliberate too long. I just want it such an emotional time for me right now. So I'm going to, I'm accompanied today by another mother who has had a similar experience to myself. So if the listeners can just bear with me because these are difficult times for me to put everything together all at once. And um, I, I am comforted by the fact that another sister here has been through a similar experience and is going to encourage me to share my story, however difficult that might be. Okay, thank you, my sister. Thank you. Uh, and uh, uh, as has been already explained, we have another sister uh, with us uh, in the studio. I wonder, my sister, if you would introduce yourself uh, to the listeners here at Galaxy. Yeah, thank you for the opportunity. Um, greetings to everyone out there who's listening to our fantastic and well, you know, loved Galaxy Radio. Um, we, you know, very special thanks for giving us the opportunity to come here tonight to speak about, you know, some very shocking situations that's happening with our young people within our own communities with the British police at this time. Um, we have two mothers in this studio, but in actual fact, we should have four mothers here tonight. Um, we weren't able to get to the other mothers in good time because, you know, whatever happened um, to my son, when it happened to my son, he had two uh, of his friends with him who, you know, were severely beaten by the police as well, gassed, severely beaten. Um, well, well, we'll go into the details yeah. a, a little bit later. We're just uh, introducing yeah. uh, at the moment, and uh, our sisters will give us a sense uh, of the kind of uh, trauma that their sons, and by definition themselves, have been put through uh, by the British police. But before we do that, let's go into the libation corner. <laughs> This is the Libation Corner. This is the section of the program where we honor our ancestors and the historical liberation achievements of our ancestors. Now you can contribute to the Libation Corner in one of three ways. Uh, firstly, if you have a loved one that has recently passed, uh, we ask you to ring in and have that loved one acknowledged during the Libation Corner. Uh, secondly, if it is the anniversary of the passing of a loved one, then again, we invite you to ring in and have that loved one acknowledged uh, during the Libation Corner. And thirdly, if there's an historical anniversary that all of us should be remembering at this time, then once again we invite you to ring and have that African historical anniversary acknowledged uh, during uh, the Libation Call. Uh, warmest greetings to you, sister or brother. You're live on Galaxy. How would you like to contribute to the Libation Call? Um, I'd like to make sure of an announcement. Yes, please go ahead, my brother. We're having a bit of difficulty hearing you, but please go ahead. Okay, the first one. Is um a work colleague of mine, uh, Reg Branch. Did you say Reg Grant? Yeah, that's Branch. B R A S. Branch. Okay. Um, a work colleague of yours. His name is Reg Branch. Uh huh. Otherwise known as Ola. As Ola, is that the Yoruba name Ola? <laughs> that's correct. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Please, can you tell us a little something about um, Reg uh, Grant? A branch, sorry, a brother Ola. <clears throat> well, he was um, a union rep for many years at um, Ford Brothers Company in Dagenham. That, and that's the same Dagenham where um, African people were abused. They were painted up, painted white, and um, 
uh, in literature, so he would have been one of the union represent representatives who was fighting against that injustice. That's correct, yeah. 